Welcome one and all to my first sealed product opening. Uh, yeah, it's Legendary Hero Dex. This is two years old. I know. <laughs> but I thought I'd o start with something fairly cheap. 20 quid. Uh, I did kind of buy multiple of them though. So I can use, like, yeah. So I did buy multiple. But uh, next opening should hopefully be an actual seed. Uh, like proper sealed product. But I'm thinking one of the um, booster packs. So let me quickly use my key. It's off screen so I can get a proper view on it. So I know I'm cutting it properly. I mean, you know it's definitely sealed by Konami, but uh, seal is a pain in the butt to get open sometimes. Opened? No. Okay, let's try it like that and then put it up and key. Oh. Yeah, I feel I've got something there. I had a little... Oh! <laughs> this opening's going great already. I think from now on I'll, uh... I'll have it taken out of the Konami, uh, packaging for a start of the video. And then... The, uh... I'll just show the Konami packaging after, sort of like... Like that, I'll be like, oh look, it is officially Konami wrapped. It's got little words of Konami on it, so this is Konami wrapped. Because, <laughs> oh, that was a pain in the butt to open. Alright. Oh, I love opening a box like this. Then, oh, I didn't open properly. So much for that. <laughs> and here we have the three sealed decks. We have a Nordic deck, which. I wasn't ever planning on building Nordics, but I am now, apparently. <laughs> we have the uh, Destiny Heroes, I think they are. Because uh, Elemental Heroes have a ton of... I, I've not really looked into this box much. Uh, I knew there was Phantom uh, Knight, so, so that's the main reason. Uh, so we've also got the Heroes. I'm guessing it'll be Destiny Heroes. Because, uh, obviously, we've had a lot of Elemental Hero reprints. Although it might be Masked Heroes. But uh, again, we've had a lot of those prints. And then we have the Phantom Knight deck. So, the one that I'm least excited to go through is the Nordic. So, let's go through that first. Uh, da, da, da. You can hear a little. So, I've got three uh, boxes. So, I've got definitely three of every card that's in this. Because I wasn't sure, like, printing wise, if they like gave you three of everything that they give you or whatever. It's Konami, so nine times out of ten, it's a no. So, then you buy at least three of their products. Per person who wants what the three of the cards that are in here, and yeah, so I'm pretty sure I've read when I did look a tiny bit into it, it's the very first printing of Rusty. And I'll see Rusty is a very good card to the point it's limited on the list. So, yeah, people would have bought at least three of this product just for that when it first came out. Now, less so, Bardi is at one, but it is what it is. I do have sleeves on the side as you can probably see. I'm making conversation while I really fail to open this thing. Um, but yeah, I do have sleeves on the side. So obviously, if I want to uh, sleeve any card, immediately I can. Oh, really? Ah, 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 I know what I say about this, but oh, it's like a writing. There we go. Alright, so we've got the Nordics first. Sorry about that. So, let me sit at a decent angle. So we've got Gulveg the Nordic Ascent Ultra. Tangasir the Nordic Beast Ultra. Dark Hole Ultra, that's quite nice. Extension Sky Dragon. Ooh. What was that? I think that's level 10. So that's a generic level 10 synchro, which is quite nice. And we've got ourselves a Coral Dragon, which is a synchro tuner, if you ever want to use one of those. Then another Tangus here, but non ultra, and then got those two, those two. I don't know much about Nordic, so I'm just sort of showing the ratios of everything that's in here. The ones that are of one, I'm guessing, are important, and then they just had like common reprints recently, sort of thing. Yeah. And then we've got Nordic Lights as a field spell. Oh, didn't even know they had a field spell. Interesting. Then the Forbiddens, oh, that's a nice uh, set of reprints. Obviously, these are two years ago, so, meh. <laughs> Soul Change would have been legal at the time, yeah. 
Ooh, hey, true nade. I, I will admit, I'm, I'm liking the fact that I've got three of that now. And then, yeah, more Nordic stuff, more Nordic stuff. Solemn Authority out of all of them. Okay. Ah, oh, it's an ace. This specifically, like, it says, oh, it's got to be the gods. And obviously, you've got your three aces in common print, which is not too bad. Got a Leo common. Beelzus. Beels in common. Interesting. Oh, and a scrap dragon. Okay. Okay. So that's the Nordic stuff. Um, I sort of haphazardly put them down. To be fair, there's nothing there I really want to sleeve anyway. I mean, I've probably got enough here to build a basic Nordic deck, which ain't too bad. Obviously, with three of them. So let's go into the heroes, which I presume, as I said, is uh, Destinies. Because, again, we've had a lot of printings of the others even before this came out. Uh, but Destinies, I think, even like the new support that came out around about when this came out, there weren't like much print. I think it was like, only printed once, so... We have our extra hero, Dread Decimator Ultra. Ooh, an ultra rare malicious. I really like that. I'm glad I got three of those. It's going to stay at two, but it's nice to have the three. Uh, I got this. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's definitely Destiny Heroes because we also got the Destiny Draw. Extra hero, Wonder Driver. Ooh. Dogma, Plasma, Dreadmaster. A common malicious, if for some reason you want to mix rarities. I hate doing that. Celestial, ooh, Diamond Dude, Dread Servant, Dark Angel, Dynatag, Two Drill Darks, a Decider, a Dreamer, Free D Cube, because why not? Uh, Shadow Mist. So there are some Elemental Hero stuff in here. Also, I don't know if it's being cut off at the top. Sorry, I've never really done like a proper opening through this setup. Blaze Man, a common Destiny draw, because again, mixed rarities. Over Destiny, Over Destiny, Clock Tower Prison, Dark City, Double Mask Change. Double Polly. Another Monster Reborn, if it ever goes back up, I guess. Magical Stone Excavation. Double Terraforming. That's a sad sight. <laughs> Feather of the Phoenix. Uh, Destiny Signal. Ooh. Destiny Signal. D Time. Eternal Dreads. D Fusion. Destiny End Dragoon, which is quite nice. In a, um, it's not an FTK, it's like an OTK you can build with that. It's quite nice. Uh, Dustopia. Dystopia. Dangerous. Dark Claw. Ooh. So out of this, I'm probably gonna sleeve uh get past all the commons. Yeah, I'm gonna sleeve the malicious and the dark claw, I think, out of this uh pile. So they're quite uh yeah, quite good. Uh so malicious is gonna be in a dark blue sleeve because that's what I'm using for the main deck monsters. And then the extra deck monster can go in the red. So what I've done with Phantom Knights, to give you an idea, I am building them. So without looking into too much what's in the set, I've bought uh, side cards for it. So like cards that you would run in it that wouldn't have come in here. So you'll see what I mean when I get to it. So those are going to be sleeved up there. So with Bardish, for example, I know I get the Ultra in here. But I wanted the uh, new gold rare that came out. So I've got that. And I actually have a, a small build of it to the side. Ready to be sleeved with other stuff. And one of the cards that I've got in here is the plat the new gold uh, Bardish. So hopefully after I open this, this will have the stuff that I presume it has. Like uh, boots, gloves, um uh cloak and maybe the uh, traps like fog blade and uh sword but we'll see we'll see we'll see because i'll what i'm going to do with those blue sleeves that are down there i'm actually going to sleeve up the um cards that i'm going to be using that i assumed were in here so that way i can put them straight into the deck oh this one's giving me about as much trouble as the last set, which is not uh, as the Nordics, which isn't good. So I really want to be careful not to damage these ones. Because Nordics, if they're slightly damaged, don't bother me because it was a deck I weren't planning on building anyway. But Phantom Knights, I am very much planning on building. So I want to be very cautious not to damage these. So we obviously have 
the Bardiche. Uh, Twin Twisters Ultra, quite nice. So Phantom Knights of Mist Claws, okay. Break Sword, nice. <laughs> F in chat, boys. <laughs> F in chat for Rongo. Uh, Ancient Cloak, perfect. Uh, two Silent Boots, perfect. Uh, two Ragged Glove, yep. Oh, two Ancient Cloaks, they just separated them randomly. Uh, Cloven Helm, I'm not running it, but it's nice to have. Uh, Fragile Armor. Armageddon Knight, I've already got in there. Butter Spy, I've already got in there, but it's good to have more copies, I guess. Rescue Ferret, Junk Forward. Kage Mucha Light. What's that doing? When this, when you know someone on level 3, special summon. Ooh, okay, that's quite nice. I might run that. Uh, Cockadoodle Doo. Effect Veiler, that's quite nice. Rum Launch. Uh, I have the new version, because I knew that came out like in the last couple of sets, so I've got the, be the newer, better one. Phantom Knight Spear, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, Foolish, Rota, Dark Eruption, Fog Blade, perfect. Uh, double Sword, nice. Double Wing, nice. Uh, Shadow Veil, nice. And with Shade Brigade, I think that's every card that I was hoping would be in here is in here. So, uh, ooh, Dark Rebellion, Dark Requiem, Evil Swarm Nightmare is quite nice. Levenir, ooh, ooh, I. I will admit that and Dante were ones that I heard rumours of being in this set because it's like a common for both of them and a lot of people were like, oh, that's quite nice. So I will admit I did, uh, they are in my build, but I didn't uh, buy a different copy of it because I knew they were going to be in this set. And also I've got a mate who's helping me build Burning Abyss at the moment. So I am getting the gold rare uh, Dante soon as well. So be quite nice. And then I'll see the Levenir is definitely going to be in the extra. So that's two extra deck cards right there. Uh, I don't think I got any of the break swords yet. So it's nice to see a break sword in there. So let's put that in. Um, but yeah, that's not a bad uh, opening to be fair. The Phantom Knights had half the stuff I wanted them to have. Uh, which you can never go wrong with. So we've got ourselves the uh, that bit for the extra deck and then for the main deck if I grab from here if I can grab it off screen I wanted that I wanted that oh, like that uh, I think I wanted at least one of those that then that I might actually, yeah, I might use Kajima Mucha. I think I'm, I think there is room for, like, wiggle room for other cards for the sheer fact of I weren't sure what was in here. So I think I did leave wiggle room, which is quite nice. Uh, so, yeah. That's uh, main deck stuff. I've got a sleeve. And I will be grabbing the rest from the other boxes, and I'll hopefully be able to do a deck profile either later today or tomorrow. Now, when this video is live... By then, I will be live myself on my Twitch, and I will be streaming Hitman 3, because that's just come out as well. And I am really looking forward to that game, not going to lie. So I'll be streaming that, um, and I will hopefully see you guys there. Uh, I'm going to sleeve up my Phantom Lights uh, while this video renders and uploads, and then I'll be going live after that. So what I'll do is I'll leave my Twitch in the description if you want to join me. If you're watching this video within the first, I want to say, four or five hours that I'm it's uploaded. Because I'll probably be streaming a while. And um, if not, the stream's there in case you want to watch it later. Uh, I won't be uploading it because the stream. I don't know how to upload my streams because of the uh, stuff I've got at the moment. But I will be... Um, I will be... Uh, I will be leaving it on the actual account, so... Hope you guys enjoy that stream. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys either in the stream or when I do my Phantom Knight uh, deck profile because I think this is the last of the stuff I needed. Ta-ta for now.